So uh, this is uh, the 97 uh, Baldwin Motorsports Trophy truck. Uh, I'm going to go over a few details with you. It's, uh, it's a Chevy Silverado, however there is nothing on this truck that is actually produced by Chevy or General Motors. Uh, as you can see these headlights aren't really headlights, they don't illuminate very much, they're actually stickers. Uh, although the entire truck is made out of uh, 4130 chromoly, which is uh, about three to four times stronger than regular mild steel. Uh, the entire truck is built behind uh, a philosophy, if we don't have to slow down for bumps, we don't have to slow down. Really the only thing that slows this thing down is corners. This is what we think works, uh, and it's, it's shown very successful. We've got two championships in it, and uh, Rambo, shut up! I'm trying to be famous here, I'm doing Hollywood work. Uh, <laughs> it's a Croy racing engine. It's it's kind of like a stock car motor, but a hundred cubic inches bigger, so it's much bigger, and it's fuel injected with no restrictor plate. So it makes about uh, 800 horse, but it makes uh, a ton of torque, about 800 horsepower, and uh, the vehicle's about 5,900 pounds. Uh, anybody that knows anything about racing knows just by looking at it, it's not very aerodynamic. It's like pushing a brick through the air and to be able to go 144 miles an hour which is what this vehicle is capable of to be able to push this vehicle to that kind of speed uh is is very very impressive because they do not like going through the the wind or the atmosphere very well it's a small block chevy it's 455 cubic inches um, it runs on leaded 114 octane racing gas so it's very expensive about ten dollars a gallon and a 70 three gallon fuel cell uh, goes about 150 miles depending on the terrain so they're very expensive to run if you if you work everything down uh, and you calculate everything it's about a thousand dollars a mile to run one of these vehicles uh, you know in a, in a rough race so it's it's very very expensive uh, to run one of these vehicles to build a competitive race car it probably costs seven hundred thousand uh, 700,000 American dollars, uh, you know, but forget about all that, it's, it's all the design and finding the right people to design it and the right people to build it. Uh, this truck took three months just to build on a computer before they, they even cut a tube or ordered materials for it. So there's a lot that goes into play making sure everything fits, you know, there's 20, 25,000 parts on this race vehicle and if any one of them goes wrong you're parked on the side of the road working on your tan. Over here, obviously it's a front engine. We've got, uh, you know, b bypass shocks, and uh, we have a coil over the, and a coil over shock. Coil over shock just kind of dampens, does a little bit of dampening, and the bypass shock does uh, most of the dampening, and that's what helps us go over the really big bumps without being jarred around in the cap. Uh, tire is a big a big part of the winning. They have to be very very strong. Uh, just to give you an idea of how strong this tire is. Uh, it takes a tremendous amount of effort to pop it. I mean, you could sit here all day with samurai swords and, and knives and screwdrivers and you would never ever uh, be able to puncture it. Now, if you, if you hit a rock at uh, 100, the size of a microwave oven, uh, then it, you could get a puncture, you can get a cut in a tire, and then you have to pull over and change tires. And those are the kind of things that uh, we hit out there in the desert. You know, we make mistakes and occasionally I'll, you know, blow a corner and hit a rock and and I got to get out and change it. The uh, tire changing system is very unique. We carry a air bottle on board and it has about 3,000 pounds of pressure in it. <clears throat> and when we get a flat, Johnny gets out and he releases uh, the air jacks. So what he does, is he comes out front here, he pulls this cork right here. This comes out, uh, he turns this knob right here and it propels the truck upward, pulling both uh, of this side of the truck's tires off the ground. Changes the tires, lets, or changes the tire, whichever tire's flat, um, then lets it jack down, puts it back up, and then uh, we're on our way. Usually he can do all that in uh, about uh, a minute and, and 25 seconds. Occasionally, if we have a problem, it can turn into, you know, it can turn into a disaster. It can turn into like an eight minute tire change. I've had those happen and that's just catastrophic. Um, you know, you, you can't win races if, if you're not moving. So we try and stay moving at all times. Um, 
and I try and be very, very careful and take care of my equipment and, and just put myself in a position where I can win a race. And uh, I think that's why we're so successful.